I don't know what this whole big back thing is. Big back, big back. <laughs> freaking friday i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a fit check because i'm wearing pink today i usually wear pink at least once a week i've been in my pink girl era trying to get more pink active wear so i found these leggings on amazon you guys know i did a review so i'll link these below they're also up on my amazon storefront in the description below these are the ones that are similar to effortless leggings and these ones are in like their hot pink i'm wearing a size small and these ones fit really comfortably and I would say definitely true to size. They are super freaking cute and I'm pairing it with a Buff Bunny bra. I don't like this bra enough to go out and buy another one. I wore the yellow one last week or earlier in this week and it's very thick with their seam details and because of that it's kind of scratchy and a little uncomfortable where I have to keep doing this and doing this because it's also kind of see-through. And the pads are really large for the spacing you guys saw that review too so i'm gonna wear it because i paid for it but it's not worth 40 something dollars when it's giving like forever 21 i love the revolution halter the buff buddy does because it's in a softer brushed newberry fabric this is like a seamless scratchy material that's just really thin so anyway on back days i do prefer like a holter style because i just like to have no restrictions i don't like a lot of strap detail kind of stopping my movement and honestly i just feel like when i have a pump baby it looks so much better so looking forward to that and then my fragrance today is burberry it's the vibes it's definitely getting springtime <sighs> putting on the fragrance for the gym is honestly the best part my lipstick is in my purse, so I'll definitely touch that up after I finish my pre-workout. And then my hairstyle today for gym is like a messy bun. I've been into wearing like curls out, so I kind of have like some pieces in the back and the side. And once my hair dries, because I washed it in the shower, I'll break them apart a little bit so it doesn't look too clumped together. But I do need like a little overlayer because I like to wear baggy tops, and I thought this one would be really cute. I've been into wearing my pump cover like graphics this one's from Inaka and it's their version of like the brats which I love I think this is so cute and it ties in with my pink today but yeah girl it's just the way that these are just so flattering and they are so stretchy like squat proof all of that but yeah anyway that was my gym fit for today I don't know if this is going to be a week in my life video i haven't really decided because i've been vlogging all week let me see how this looks i want to see some i also think this is cute too instead of just tucking it in the back i see the girls wearing it like a crop top i think buying crop tops is a waste of money because first of all it's a little bit of fabric and they're usually the same price as a full-blown t-shirt second of all i don't think crop tops are functional where i live when it's windy and cold outside so it's not great for all seasons and i just like oversized clothes so i don't really buy crops but if i want a crop i will just do something like this which you can't really see so if i want a crop top baby i just tuck it all the way around and i still think that it looks really cute and snatches in the waist when we're on the go we don't have time to make food act like y'all know link these below i like the raspberry if you haven't tried oxy shred what the heck are you doing what are you doing gone are the days of me using a shaker no i just really love these oh i'm ready to go oh yeah i can't have too much right now because we got to push the whip <laughs>
something really quick this was the first time I was actually able to show you guys and film my actual back and shoulders workout it's always a lot of raises that I'm like freaking out like oh, I don't want to put the camera out because that's right where all the cardio machines are and there were heck of people behind me but I was like you know what do it for the vlog and guess what I did so really proud of the fact that I was able to show you guys what I've been doing for my back and my shoulders and I don't really do biceps triceps I don't have a full routine for that not my priority I'm definitely like a lots girl so I'm putting this hoodie on because I am so sweaty I got out of the sauna back from the store I definitely have Jeep hair and I cannot wait to eat. I'm gonna make a breakfast burrito and I love breakfast burritos. I spent over $100, easy, 112. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul and then while my potatoes I think bake, I'm going to shower so that I can be like cozy and I don't like, I don't know, I can't really eat after the gym in my gym clothes. I don't feel good like that. But I got some hummus, little pita chip snacks for the weekend. Some flour tortillas for the burritos that we're gonna have. I'm also gonna do tacos, so I grabbed some cilantro. 
this was one of those things that I bought because I went to the grocery store super hungry. I used to eat these all the time when I was in like school. They are sesame sticks, crunchy wheat snacks with sesame seeds. I just wanted it for the crunch. They used to hit because they're very salty. And I'm also going to do like a salad with some grilled chicken. So I picked up the Trader Joe's Southwestern chopped salad. And that one's really good. It has like a lot of cabbage, some limes for my tacos. And since it's the weekend, I figured I would pick up a box of cereal. I'm not really a cereal girl. I'll buy a box and then I'll have a bowl and then I'll forget about it. And then it just gets stale. So I grabbed the knockoff version of Frosted Flakes. I'm a Honey Bunches girl, but the ones that they had had almonds in it and I have a nut allergy. So I went with those instead. Got some honey for my lattes at home. And I wanted to try their Hatch Valley Salsa for my tacos. I also might do like breakfast tacos too if I want that instead of burritos this week because I have a ton of tortillas corn tortillas that we're going to use up as well and I also figured that for breakfast tacos black beans would be a great source of protein so I got a couple cans of that and I got a hot sauce I don't know if this is going to be good I could have found the one that I used to get but this is their chunky garlic and jalapeno hot sauce hopefully it doesn't give me acid reflux but and hopefully it's not too spicy I just need some type of heat and then I really needed to go to stock up on my seasonings. And I hope I got everything because I went in there without a list. I got my Italian herb mix. The man checking me out, I never hear you. He said this is good with olive oil and then you dip your bread in it. Salt, pepper, and then my umami for my ramen. Got some juice shots, vitamin C. Um, onion. For some reason, I was craving chocolate. See, the checkout area is going to get you. I had no business getting this, but it'll last me like a week. I just like to break off a piece. And it's the Dark Chocolate Lovers Chocolate Bar, 80% cacao, smooth and fruity. I can't remember if I had this either, but hopefully it's good. And then I needed some protein, so I just grabbed some ground chicken, some 20%, 80% ground beef. And then I got some beef birria for my tacos. Um, I might leave one in the fridge because they're frozen. And then I had to get a fried rice because it's the weekend. Ooh, I got two fried rices. I hope that fits in the freezer. And then, I don't know, I'm not crazy about their chicken sausage because the casing is so gross. But this is a different type of sausage. It's a breakfast chicken sausage and it's maple flavored. So I don't know if I fry it up really good and get it crispy. Hopefully it's good. I thought this would be good for breakfast. Some eggs, some toast. I don't know, avocado toast, something. And extra birria, because I can eat one of these in one meal. So just grab two. And then for my burritos, I grabbed some breakfast potatoes to put in there with eggs avocados, salsa, hot sauce. I could put beans in there too, but I got that for tacos. So hopefully that's good for this weekend. So I got two of those for my breakfasts. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I will show you guys my breakfast, even though <laughs> it's two o'clock, y'all. <laughs>
and boom post-workout breakfast <laughs> question mark i ended up not putting the potatoes in the tortillas because the tortillas are very small so i just added half of an avocado two eggs potatoes and some of that salsa on the side i think this would have been better if i had a black bean but honestly i got so lazy i just wanted to come home and eat i really impressed myself with this even though it was already cooked potatoes but yeah mm. Mm, mm, mm. i don't know about you guys but i get sick of eating the same stuff so it's nice to have specifically carbs i think i am so tired of eating rice all day long so i'm in a potato tortilla bread era right now I don't want to look at rice for like the next week. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, these I guess turned out to be like quesadillas. Mm. Tomorrow when I make them, I'm definitely going to add... I didn't want to mess with that sausage because... I don't know. It could be good. It could be really bad. And I don't want to ruin my meal. And I'm already hungry. Mmm. This has a little zesty lime taste. It's not very spicy, but it adds some flavor to the eggs. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna work on this, the fillings. As someone that's dairy-free, it's kind of hard. Like, cheese obviously would be so good, but I can't eat that. And I'd rather not do vegan cheese. It's not that healthy for you. There's no protein in it. Mm-hmm. But this, so good for breakfast, even like lunch, like I'm eating it now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I think this is going to end the video today. Quick little vlog. It was really about the gym session today, and I'm happy that I was able to show you guys finally <laughs> my upper body workout for back and shoulders, like... The back is getting snatched. Catch me by the pool at the end of the month. Big back wear. I don't know what this whole big back thing is. Big back, big back. That was the audio I saw last night on IG Reels, like the Dora backpack song. The big back, big back. <laughs> I don't want a big back. I want a snatched back. Big back, big back. <laughs> All right, it's time to go. I'm gonna catch you.